final verdict. You have to pick a side, the horde of curry zombies or the meme crew. Okay. How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. I don't usually analyze YouTube channels or celebrities or anything, but this is directly related to YouTube as a platform, so why not? Most people who are interested in YouTube as a platform know that its currently biggest channel PewDiePie with 67 million subscribers is about to be overtaken by an Indian media production company called T-Series. So let's take a more in-depth look into the battle between the bro army and the people of India. Oh, and subscribe for more videos on similar topics. There are several channel sub live counts around YouTube, including one from The Verge, and the chats are very active, and I've seen a lot of information and misinformation shared on those chats. Some was educational, some was interesting, some was funny and even hilarious, and some was stupid, as you probably imagine. I'm gonna start with the most popular accusation that T-Series is cheating or using chatbots. Not saying that the statement is entirely false, but let's take a look at some statistics. First of all, let's take a look at the fact that T-Series is a well-established company with hundreds of employees and artists pumping out multiple music videos per day. And they probably have a large budget for marketing, whereas PewDiePie, as big as he may be right now, is just one individual person running the channel. And this is inherently the biggest difference. Take earnings for example, if these channels were racking up 12 million dollars per year, which is what some blogs and sites say about PewDiePie, T-Series would have to split it up into multiple salaries, plenty of costs that it takes to run a program, whereas PewDiePie only has to pay himself. In that single statement, we now see why T-Series would be interested in spending a big budget on advertising and marketing, whereas PewDiePie doesn't really care. Because first of all, he really doesn't need more marketing or a bigger salary, and second, if he stopped YouTubing tomorrow, he would still have earned to last a lifetime of his great-grandchildren. So there's your first possible reason of why T-Series is growing faster, a hefty budget dedicated to marketing. Although in real life, my example of 12 million dollars doesn't really apply to both channels because T-Series is in India with a majority of Indian audience, which means only Indian advertisers would be interested. Which means that the amount of revenue per monetized view is significantly smaller than PewDiePie's because of the Indian economy. PewDiePie has 67 million subscribers and about 4 million average views per video, which which means a 6% engagement rate which is pretty good compared to most channels on YouTube as well as other social media. While T-Series is nowhere close in average engagement ratio, they do have videos which are over 6 100 million views, with, might I mention, a 90% like to dislike ratio. While PewDiePie's most popular video is only 84 million. That means that T-Series has 94 videos which have more views than PewDiePie's most popular video. Those high watch views end up very often on people's home pages, which means they rack up even more views and engagement. If you've seen some videos on YouTube where people discuss this issue, you can see when they create an Indian account, you log on, you pretty much have T-Series on the first page the moment you log into YouTube. And let's not forget another important factor, and that is India's population. While I don't have geographical statistics for the channel audience, it's pretty safe to say that mostly Indians watch the channel. With a population of 1.3 billion citizens, of which 50% or 650 million people is under the age of 25. Now with those statistics in mind, how unrealistic is it really for the biggest production company in the country to have 67 million subscribers? That's pretty much one out of every 10 young people in India. And that's not even to mention surrounding countries like Pakistan also viewing this channel. Just something to think about. Something else I've been seeing thrown around a lot is that every new Indian channel is automatically subscribed to series. That is completely absurd. But not to waste time on that, you can search auto subscribe in India on YouTube and you're gonna get plenty of results talking about just that issue. Another thing is people's accusation towards YouTube in the form of Why are they not helping PewDiePie overtake? Or how could they let T-Series grow so big? I mean, listen to yourself, that question is absurd in itself. PewDiePie is not a YouTube employee. Sure, YouTube makes millions off of PewDiePie and his channel, but they're also gonna do the same off T-Series in due time. So there's absolutely no logic for why YouTube would take sides in this, and it's probably against their company policies to be preferential to a single channel anyway. They are obliged and it's in their interest to be supportive of every channel using their platform. And as far as subscription bots, if it was maybe some small channel and YouTube wouldn't find out about it, they could get away with using subscription bots. But T-Series has been on everyone's radar for a long time, so if that
that were true, YouTube would have banned them ages ago. And as we know from Logan Paul, YouTube won't hesitate smashing channels if they don't agree with the channel's activity. As far as the actual numbers, Mashable predicted that they would overtake on the 21st of October, which is obviously not the case. So from the date of the vlog, I think it's going to be tomorrow or the day after. But let me know what you think in the comments below. When is T-Series going to overtake PewDiePie? But either way, nothing really changes. Both of the channels will continue growing at their own rates and Felix will still be the biggest individual creator for the foreseeable future because don't forget, T-Series is a company. And who knows, maybe they're going to do a cross promotion to grow from each other. PewDiePie dancing in a Bollywood musical in a T-Series special. Mm. That is it for this Bro Army versus the People of India episode. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you guys next week. And I can really imagine PewDiePie with like a mustache and really colorful clothes being like la 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 la. <laughs>